seven. Mm. Well, I don't know if there's one available. We may have to go into them here. Oh, once you do that, you play the black with pace. Took Ronnie his eye off the 47. pot. Well, going into them, Ooh, and it could have worked out better than that. You have to say that's a little unlucky. Eight. By the way, he's taking it on. No. Now is he going Marco to leave it? Eight. Is he going to leave it? Well, not that one. Well, he's decided to go for it. Big shot, this. Mm. They're tough. One. Massive pressure now in this visit to the table from Marco Fu. Doesn't have to play any more Nine. cannons. But nice cue ball control. Seventeen. That will release the other red to the left corner. Twenty-five. So now what sort of an angle can he leave on the colour? Thirty-three. Move the red. Mm, the lights have been a little closer with, to the cushion with the cue ball. I want to play at pace, which makes the pot more difficult. <coughs> Points all square. So is Marco Fu going to win two frames in a row for the first time in this match? Oh, he hit right across that. Hit right across it. Amazing. What a chance he's let go there. Possibly get position on the black. Got to be very precise. And he was. Good shot. <laughs> he landed perfectly on the blue to just drop it in to level the match. 47. Well, Ronnie O'Sullivan will be sat in his chair wondering what's happened in the last two frames. He missed an easy red in the frame before. Missed a great opportunity in this one. 50. Brown and blue. All that's required. 54. And two snookers required. Said early on, Ronnie O'Sullivan was a big favourite for this match. The match, and they were close. Then I don't think there'd be any favourites, and that'll be the case. I'm certain Ronnie will concede. He does do. So that's another frame that Ronnie had every chance to win. He's let slip. Marco Fu all square. Game on.
Good pop from Ronnie and the pin's going back across the table. He'll be on to a left middle. He'll settle for that. Yeah, this is an aggressive shot to take on after what's gone before. Great pop. Twenty-four. And that's perfect. It doesn't want to hit the left side of the red. Uh, hit it perfect. Hit it on the red. So is he switching up that extra gear when he senses danger? Thirty-eight. I sense a lot different. Just going to be careful with this one. I'm just dropping it in. Mm, well, he's let that cue ball run loose. This black will still pot, but it's a lot thinner than it should have been. It's bound to run into the reds, but don't miss the pot. He's played it well. And he's on a red. 59. A kick. Ronnie O'Sullivan. 59. A heavy contact. What's going to happen next? Definitely jumped and straightened up. Last two frames, Marcos had to pick up the pieces Nine. where Ronnie has left off and done so successfully. This is another good chance. But when you see your opponent in amongst the balls, you're just thinking that's the end of the frame. As Stephen and I did. 16. Seventeen. He's not played that well. Well, he's got to take the opportunity, surely, to take that red as closest to the cushion off here. And I just want to make sure the points. I thought that was a good chance, a big target. Twenty-four. You'd think it tempting to screw over to the left-hand side of the. Table for the awkward reds. He must cannon the other one away from the cushion, surely. Don't take your eye off the pot, though. It's not there. Don't take your eye off the pot. Hmm. So this time he didn't take full advantage of Ronnie's mistake. Ronnie needs red cover red. Where's the red? Where's One. the colour? <coughs> Ronnie Ooh, that's so careless. One. Boy, he's giving him some chances. And if Marco was to cut this red in and get on a colour, we have a new favourite for this frame.
Yeah, I made, made no mistake with that snooker, but a little shake of the head from Ronnie. He's just glad that he had that opportunity to, to redeem himself. Trying to hit it dead weight. No. no. Good hit. Very good hit. Looking to get the snooker behind the yellow. Well, I say that, there must be a gap between the blue and pink. Gap enough to pot it. Gap enough to pot it. One. Doesn't have to pot the brown. 33 points behind, 35 remaining. He's got the angle to come down on the red. And he couldn't have played this better. He needs a bit of a bounce. Just didn't get the bounce. He needed a bounce of about an inch, and he'd have been absolutely perfect. Well, that was unfortunate, you have to say. The cue ball to travel that distance. This is tough. Great shot. Six. Let's travel too far. The six remaining colours. Eleven. To lead five four. Fifteen. Sixteen. <clears throat> Brown to blue. As Ronnie looks on, nothing he can do. If he gets perfect on the blue, it's a formality. Twenty. He's perfect. <clears throat> Twenty-five. Well, I don't know if anybody in this pack bar can Arena saw this coming. 31. But this black, he's going to put Marco Fu one frame away from a place in the final. And in it goes, a tremendous clearance, tremendous second last ready potted, and a good last red. And Ronnie O'Sullivan once again looked as though he had the frame in the bag, but missed. Marco Fu one frame away from the final. Left Marco a chance of this red. Shot. That's another good pot, and he's on the black this time. One. Just goes to the middle. There you see it. A little cannon on the pink. Chance. Eight. Nine. It's hard to see Marco not put the six reds that are in the open with pinks or blacks here. It's only going to be the pressure. Sixteen. Oh. Oh, what a kick that was. Similar or worse than the one that Ronnie had in the last frame in the same pocket. Thank you. Oh, that's frightening, John. That really is frightening, that kick. Unbelievable. Shock horror. His big chance. One. This will hurt now if he was to lose this frame.
Seven. More shaking of the head. There you go. What have we got for choice of the four colours another end of the table here? <coughs> I think he thought he missed Eight. that. Used all the pocket, that's a fact. Thirteen. Normally. Fourteen. We're always saying how easy Ronnie makes the game look. That's why it's difficult for him out there tonight. Yeah, but you could say to a degree, Stephen, it's of his own making. He's missed quite a few good chances. 21. Most definitely. 22. But if Marco Fu was to lose this match after that kick, I don't think he'll be sleeping tonight. He's got to sit there and suffer. 29. Well, it's a shock to the system when things like that happen to you. But Ronnie's still got a lot of work to do here. Reds are slightly awkward. This is the only open one. Now, can he leave an angle on this black? Well, he's managed to force it over. Well. The problem is, if he just drops it in, he'll finish tight to the cushion. Won't make the black any easier, and where's the red come? So you'd think he could back for the blue. But no. 46. Tough near the cushion. It's always tough near the Ronnie cushion. Sullivan, 46. this red and get position on a colour, the more pace, the more likely you're to miss this red, so what's he going to do, just roll it in and play the snooker behind the black? Nine. That's all he's done. Marker four, nine. Not that difficult to hit, you wouldn't have thought. Well, and I miss Marco Fufu. The thing is, there's only new, is it? Just concentrated on getting a good cue ball, which he's got. <laughs> just got to avoid the double kiss at all costs. Got to avoid the double kiss. And just about did. Decided to stun it round. And I'll tell you what, he couldn't have played this any better. That's an excellent shot. But playing it like this, you're not going to put a lot of distance between the cue ball and object ball. Well, he's put a fair bit of distance, but he's left the pot on. Could that be Ronnie O'Sullivan's? Last shot in the Betway UK Championship. One. Well, I don't know why he played. I presume he played for black there, Marco, but he's got a nice angle in his pink. Natural to go for the yellow. He's the cue ball to slow down. Six points behind. Well, he decides to go up and down the table. How's his judgment of pace? Nine. Kiss on the bloom just may make it awkward queuing. But as you said earlier, Stephen, he's pretty good with the rest. Ronnie in trouble. Yeah, doesn't have to do anything with the cue ball. Just concentrate the pot automatically on the brown. 
Nope. Well, what a let off for Ronnie O'Sullivan in his green, brown, and blue to take us to a decider. Free. Well, that was purely pressure. It's going to be hard for Makofu to come Seven. back from this frame, the kick, and then that miss green. Wrong side of the blue, but he only needs the blue. He'd like to have been on it in such a way he could get position on the pink, because he doesn't want to <laughs> have the risk of Makofu getting the one snooker he needs. So pot the pink. Let's wait and see. It's 5 all. <laughs> nice friendly handshake between both players. Got to lose this one. A place in the final at stake. Much too thick. So you would think first chance falls to Ronnie O'Sullivan. One. Good solid pot. Marco will be fearing the worst. Avoid the cannon on the black here. I could do. Six. <coughs> well, looking at that, he's not got a good angle on the red to get nicely on the blue. Yeah, he's going to have to leave the shot. The blue, take the cue ball between green and brown with right hand side off the bolt cushion side Potty. cushion into the bunch so this is a shot that could win the match got a good line how's your look how's your look it's not bad it's not bad he's given himself a chance but remember it's a designing frame Thirty-six. Red to leave Marco Fu needing a snooker. And now that looks as though there'll be no way back for Marco. He's had swings, he's had roundabouts, he's had misses, he's had Tremendous breaks, but in the end, it's going to be Ronnie O'Sullivan who's going to contest the final tomorrow. It'd be fitting if he could finish with a century. Ronnie thought this match has slipped away. And then the central shot, and you see the central. Fantastic visit, Mr. But yeah, Marco had a chance to run out a 6 4 winner, but that's all ifs, buts, and maybes. The fact is that Ronnie O'Sullivan has taken these absolutely superbly. And what a final we've got to look forward to tomorrow.
fantastic break. Ronnie O'Sullivan beats Marco Fu by six frames to five.